welcome back to the channel. Um, today I have an unboxing haul. I always love to roller skate like since fourth grade, but like I haven't done it seriously in like probably like two years. And then like with the quarantine, everybody is just like skating and everything. So I was like, let me get me a pair of roller skates. So I finally got my hands on a pair of quality roller skates. These things have been sold out. I finally got it and these are the Moxie skates. What is it? The Moxie I forgot the name of it. The Moxie something. I'm gonna insert it, but this these are the Moxie skates. And this is how it came. When I saw other unboxings, I saw like people got like a note on the box from the owner. Uh, this one doesn't have it. I don't know if it's because it's a type of skate I got, but yeah. And these are how the skates came. Let me show you. These are how the skates came packaged. And let me see. I'm going to have to look up everything because I totally forgot what the name is and everything. So, this is the skate. And let me just put this down. I'm gonna look it for look it up for you right now. Okay, so I finally got them. Let me get back in focus. So this is called the Beach Bunny Roller Skates in blue blue sky. So this is the Beach Bunny Roller Skates. And this is my first impression. So this is how the boot looks. This is the boot. It's um a teal color and inside you could see hopefully you could see it's like i need it to focus yes yeah, like colorful has all these little like characters and designs on the inside so that's cool um the laces are pink and the wheels are gummy and they have glitter in them let me zoom in on that yeah, these are how the wheels look. And this up here is super, super sturdy and strong. And the tongue is really padded. This up here, your ankles are not going to be like, you're not going to be breaking your ankles because this is pretty sturdy. And I've heard that that's a like big issue with skates, whether or not you have enough ankle support. But this is really sturdy. But yes, this is how... Let me get the laces out the way. This is how the skate looks. I, I like them. I'm definitely going to customize them to fit me more. Uh, the laces are a little bit too bright. I'm probably going to like go for a more monochromatic look with the laces, wheels, toe stop. But yeah, other than that, I feel like these are pretty, pretty dope sh skates. Like they, they feel like they're quality skates. They have a little bit of weight to them. And they have a metal plate, so that lessens the chances of these breaking in half when you're skating, especially outside. Uh, yeah, and these are indoor and outdoor skates. But I'm going to see if these wheels could go outdoor because those cracks in the cement, yo, you feel them when you skate. So I'm going to see how, how it goes with these skates. But yeah, I'm going to see you tomorrow hopefully and you guys are gonna see me practicing my skating all right Peace. and something i just want to say before i forgot is moxie the moxie brand suggests that you order a size down this boot is made in men's sizes so they suggest that you order a size down from your regular size so i got i'm normally a seven so i got a size six and when I tried on the shoe, right out of the packaging, it was a little bit tight, but I think it's because of the lacing. So you just got to make be aware of that. So loosen up the lacing if it's a little tight. Also, these sell out so quickly. Like, they sell out so quickly. What I suggest is if you're looking for roller skates right now and you're, like, having no luck, instead of just settling and buying cheap ones or ones that won't last and, and will break just because they're available i suggest just whatever skate you want go on the website and if it's sold out just put your email address in the in on the wait list and then just wait until they're in stock 
because that's what I did with these. I put my name on the wait list like probably like a week and some change ago and uh, I put my name on the wait list. I got an email that these were back in stock. So I bought them as soon as I, probably within 20 minutes again the email and then the next day I looked, they were sold out. So make sure you're putting your name on the wait list because people are looking for skates. But yeah, guess my spiel. Alright, welcome back. Um, today is day three after I've been skating. And there's a couple things I noticed with me and about skating in general. And I guess the major thing that I noticed is perfectionism when it comes to learning a new skill is like wild. And it's like unattainable. And I feel like I have to give myself grace to be, be a beginner because I'm learning something new. And not everybody's going to just get on get on the concrete with their their skates and know how to just skate immediately like that you learn and stage and there's a progression so that's the biggest thing for me is because i struggle with perfectionism another thing i would say with that couple with that is like just to record your process it was a struggle recording myself like i really need a cameraman but I don't know where that's gonna happen, but recording myself really helped because I can see certain things that I don't perceive when I'm doing it in the moment. Like say for instance, like my legs tend to go out like that because I'm pigeon-toed, but like I need to bring my knees in and I need to bend my knees more. So but that's something I picked up in the video. So I feel like recording your process and your progress like, I know people will be like, oh, look at this girl, who she think she is. But, like, it really helps when you play it back and watch what you're doing so that you can improve it next time and make a mental note. I think athletes do the same thing. Like, they watch their old games and, like, they see where they went wrong and where they went right. And they, like, make mental notes of what they should change in the next game. So, I think that's important. And you can also see your progression. Like, you can see where you started and where you are at now. So I think that's like also a good thing so that you could see, show yourself like, yo, like you are making progress. For me, like when I'm learning something new and, and it's not something tangible, like the growth I could check, check off, it's, it kind of d is discouraging. So I feel like that's definitely gonna help me continue with this. Um, what else? What else, what else, what else? I definitely wrote these things down, so let me look at my phone. 
Oh, this is something super important and it's to set goals. Like I have goals. I'm gonna show you my goals on the side here, but I have a couple goals that I want to accomplish with skating and I feel like that gives you I guess the motivation to continue and keep on progressing because I feel like if you're just doing something just to do something without any goal in mind like I feel like you're more likely to give up the new hobby or skill that you're trying to learn but when you have goals and then when you meet those goals you can check it off and it gives you reinforcement for you to continue learning the new skill or continuing with the for me skating so I feel like that's super important to set goals. And I got that from this black skater. She's mad cute. This black skater, She's her name is Skate All Day on Instagram. And she like basically skated a day at a time. And she taught herself how to skate and do all these tricks. And I feel like it's important because we tend to just compare our success to people's highlight reels. So I feel like when you see the progress, again, you see that progress, you could check it off and say like, yo, I accomplished that. It shows you that you are actually progressing and that you should continue forward because if you did these three things, I'm pretty, pretty sure now you have the momentum to continue those next three things to accomplish those goals. So that is super, super important. Yo, I feel like this is number one. I should have said this earlier, but please wear your protective gear. The first day I went skating, I was like, oh, I don't need this protective gear because I skated before, but like never really seriously on concrete. So I was just like, I don't need no protective gear. I'm going to put on my knees because I don't want to mess with my knees. I had on leggings and I had on the the hand guards. I don't even know what they're called, but yeah, the ones on your hands. But I was like, I'm not putting on the old pads. I just think that's too much. Yo, the same day, I tripped over a crack in the concrete in my park, and then I hurt myself, and I fell and scraped up my elbow. Let me show you. Yeah, I got a cut right there. So, God was like, don't play yourself. <laughs> yeah, so, I, wear your protective gear. Like, I, I can't stress that enough because... Being on those two roller skates, it's just like balancing is not something that's totally intuitive. So just to save yourself pain, um, soreness, and anything like crazy or bad happening to you, just wear your protective gear. I know it looks like you're corny and you don't know what you're doing, but again, it goes back to don't like despise you being a beginner. And I'm pretty sure once you, once I learn how to really skate really properly and I get my balance and everything. I'm not gonna have to like rely on it so heavily, but for now, I'm gonna be wearing my protective gear. Um, yeah. I don't know if this is something specifically for my area or where I live, but I would just say something that I've noticed is to get used to people just watching you fail and giving their feedback to you, like unsolicited to. So I got a lot of feedback on my skating. People definitely will laugh when you fall. But somebody told me, don't have them laugh at you, laugh with them. But definitely get used to people talking to you. People, I don't know, I think it might be the color of the space that have people just like, like flocking to me, like trying to start a conversation, asking about the skating, giving me advice about skating. So yeah, I feel like that is definitely something to look out for. And I guess the last thing I would say is to just take it one day at a time. Again, this is something I'm telling myself and it goes back to just give yourself grace to be a beginner. But yeah, just take it one day at a time. You, I watch all these YouTube videos I've been preparing and like watching these tutorials on how to skate and like how to get better. I see some people progressing really fast and my progression is not matching to their progression. And it's just like, yo, you are doing enough. You showing up every day practicing and doing what you're doing with the skates is enough. And that's why I got to tell myself and not compare myself to other people's progress. progress. Because again, we all on the same different journeys. We're learning like the same skills, but we, we're we learning it differently and we're on different journeys. So don't stress. It's supposed to be fun. Don't make your hobby a competition. Big facts. Don't make your hobby a competition.
But yeah, that is my biggest takeaway from the biggest takeaways from skating these three past days. And everything that I spoke about is transferable to any aspect of your life that you're you're new in or you're learning or you're trying to get better in. Yeah, like if you guys are interested in progress videos, let me know. I'm still gonna be skating, but like if you want to see it, like let me know. But yeah, that is all I have for today. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next one.